Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the InGroove in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the new arrival video for June 18, 2021. All right, a couple of pre-orders I want to mention to you guys first. First title is Alice Coltrane's Kirtan Tura Sings. Comes out July 16th. That title was originally never came out on anything other than a cassette, and the only place you could get it was at her ashram. So not really attainable. You know, there's probably audio rips of it out there, but this is going to be the first time it's actually had a publicly, you know, a large worldwide type release on a physical format anyways. Also, Modern Harmonic is doing Sun Ra's Pathways to Unknown Worlds. This was actually cut by Kevin Gray, newly assembled from the original four-track tapes. So that is coming August 16th. Both of those are up on the website. I kind of rearranged the website a little bit after Record Store Day so you can find it. The newest records that I put onto the website and the newest pre-orders are now all on the main page. So yeah, check it out. So still a little bit spent from Record Store Day. That was absolutely a mess. You know, you guys probably watched. I streamed the entire day from 15 minutes before I opened the door to when I locked the door. It's all on YouTube forever. So it's, yeah, it was, it was nonstop. The first couple hours were insane. And then as soon as everything went online, it sold out almost instantly. And it's just been keeping up with those orders, phone calls, emails. It's been, uh, it's been taxing, but we're pretty much done with it. I want to say tomorrow, today, tomorrow, everything will be gone out. It'll be, uh, yeah, it'll be history in the books. And we'll be getting ready for the next drop, which I want to say is July 17th off the top of my head. But yeah. That'll be the end of Record Store Day 2021, and then we'll be looking forward to uh, Black Friday's Miniature Record Store Day. But let's talk about what I got in this week. I got a ton of stuff. Most of this is actually a restock from Pure Pleasure, but I got some other stuff. Starting with a restock of the Beatles Mono Master. This is an all-analog cut. I've showed it a few times on the video. I've had a very difficult time keeping it in stock, but it's fantastic. All-analog. It's you know, a triple disc set, all of the albums themselves, the 11 albums that were cut analog that came in the box set and they came singly, those are long out of print. Every one of those is at least a hundred bucks. Uh, Mono, uh, Magical Mystery Tour, Sgt. Pepper, probably pushing towards 300 at this point. But this is a great value. You're essentially getting, for all intents and purposes, a greatest hits album because the Beatles didn't include their singles on albums. That was very common practice for English bands, period. In America, we did it. But over there, the Beatles were, you know, of the opinion that you've already paid for this. We're not going to sell it to you again. So a lot of those, the A's and the B-sides, a lot of times came out to be big hits. That's all included on here. Now, obviously, when you get a little later in their career, you know, you're going to substitute We Can Work It Out for uh, You Know My Name. Look up the number. But everything that was not on the album... You need this to complete it, so yeah, the Beatles Mono Masters. Restock in from Lou Reed Transformer. This is the Speaker's Corner version. This is an unbelievably amazing sounding record. It's one of my top 10 favorite records, audiophile records. It's a must have. I had it a couple of weeks ago, but it sold out. I had a few more that were delayed in shipping, but yeah, here they are. Fantastic dynamic range on this. It's amazing how much bass they cut into this 33. This is a, a must-have, and it's an amazing record, too. Typically, the most amazing audiophile records don't tend to be really popular, good-selling titles. This is, you know, there's not a lot of Sgt. Pepper audiophile records coming out anymore, or the, you know, Led Zeppelin, or, you know, a lot of the, 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 the big, the key titles don't typically get the audio file treatment. And I'm not saying this is Sgt. Pepper, but this is an amazingly good record and it sounds killer. A couple reissues, or excuse me, a couple of reissue, uh, releases by Fish, Ruby Waves and Waves. This is on red vinyl. This is on blue vinyl. This is a live from uh, 2011 and this is live from 2019. I actually saw Trey Anastasio in Indiana in the late 90s, but from what I remember of that concert, he pretty much just did covers the whole night. About half of those covers were probably Jimi Hendrix, but that was maybe 25 years ago. I was young, but uh, yeah. 
The best of Aretha Franklin, 1980 to 2014. This is kind of a great year. This is kind of the revival of her career. So you're going to have all the titles like, yeah, Who's Zooming Who, Sisters Are Doing It For Themselves, Freeway of Love, and also up till she covered Adele's Rolling in the Deep. But yeah, double disc, Aretha Franklin comp. Rosie Tucker, Sucker Supreme on Coke Bottle Clear Vinyl. This was out of print for some time, but it is back in stock from ORG, Johnny Griffin, The Man I Love. This was mastered by Bernie Grumman, cut by Chris Bellman, and then engineering consultation by Steve Hoffman. That's a great sounding record. Really good title by ORG. Decapitated, the first damned, pressed on a red and black splatter vinyl limited to 1500 on Nuclear Blast. Lamb Chop, Show Tunes, Limited Edition, Orange Vinyl. Another indie exclusive. Giovanni. When it's all said and done. The Interrupter is live in Tokyo. This is on Limited Edition, Colored Vinyl. This is a fun comp from Alligator Records. Killer Blues label, Hound Dog Taylor, Albert Collins, Lonnie Brooks, double disc comp from Alligator. Iggy and the Stooges, Jesus Loves the Stooges on Splatter Vinyl. Nick Cave, Carnage, his latest album. Zap and Roger. Boy, is it extremely difficult to keep Zap titles in stock. I think, uh, yeah, this is going to be a long-awaited comp. What is this? Pink, orange, and violent magenta vinyl. Salu. Untitled. Finally got Taylor Swift's Evermore back in stock. This is on green vinyl. I got a small shipment of it, you know, when it first came out, my order was cut, but finally got the rest. The Selector. This is 40th Anniversary, Too Much Pressure, Half Speed Mastered with a bonus 40 gram 7 inch single. I'm not sure why they put 40 gram on there. I don't know anybody who's counting the grams of singles, but maybe. <laughs> D Smoke, Black Habits. All right, let me show you some of the Pure Pleasure titles. One of my favorite titles that they've ever done, Louis Prima's The Wildest. Not only is this a great sounding record, but it's one of my favorite records. It's one of those records that reminds me of my childhood. Uh, growing up in an Italian family, every holiday, it's just somehow like Frank Sinatra and Louis Prima popped up on the radio. Uh, but very difficult. This originally came out, I want to say, on the Capitol like that teal label capital from the mid 50s and they are extremely tough to find in good clean shape so killer record must have Thelonious Monk's crisscross I'll try to rip through these pretty quick Thelonious Monk something in blue this originally was Black Lion Chet Baker and Strings this is a great title Etta James The Right Time Here's a title that I've never found a clean, quiet copy except for this. Zoot Sims, Down Home. They do a ton of avant-garde jazz, and that's a lot of what I'm going to show you. A lot of stuff on Strata East. Pharaoh Sanders. They do a lot of great blues. This is a killer title. Champion Ch Jap Dupree, Blues from the Gutter. Great record. Again, these Atlantic, early Atlantic, black label Atlantic titles are extremely hard to find in good shape. Joseph Latif, The Doctor is In and Out. Wendell Harrison. This was actually, I want to say, in the Tribe box that Vinyl Me Please did. Great avant-garde funk. Kind of on the funkier side. This is on Node Low. I'm not familiar with this. Wendell Irvin. Louis Armstrong plays W.C. Handy. 
Cliff Jordan plays Lead Belly. I listened to this not too long ago. That's a fun album. Etta James, Deep in the Night. Sarah Sings Soulfully, Sarah Vaughn. Another great avant-garde title, John Hicks, Hell's Bells, originally on Strata East. Betty Carter, Now It's My Turn. They do a whole bunch of Stacey Kent's catalog. Let Yourself Glow, this is a double disc. Linda Hill, Lullaby for Linda. That was originally on Nimbus. Man, those titles are, I've never had a Nimbus record come through the door. Lonnie Liston Smith, Visions of a New World, great title. Music Inc, another Strata East title. Paul Desmond with Strings, Desmond Blue. Leon Thomas, Spirits Known and Unknown. Another good title. Stacy Kent, Dreamsville. This is a single. I think musically and also, I mean, this is one of the best titles they've ever done. Lightning in New York. This is a killer record. Sounds great. Louis Armstrong, Town Hall Concert Plus. Weldon Irvine, Cosmic Vortex. Charles Mingus presents Charles Mingus. Cecil McBee, Mute Ma. This is actually coming out, I want to say later in the year, as a tone poem. Maybe next year. Chet Baker and Art Pepper, Picture of Heath. Art Pepper is somebody who sorely is missing uh, a lot of great reissues. I would love to get an audio file reissue of some of the Savoy label, Surf Rider. All right, Creative Arts Ensemble, One Step Out. This is another Nimbus title. One of my absolute favorite avant-garde jazz records of all time, Phil Ranelin's Vibe from the Tribe. This was also in that Vinyl Me Please box set. Amazingly funky album. Killer drum breaks on this. Originals of it are thousands of dollars. I want to say the last one that was on eBay went for like 2,800 bucks. Semik Farah and Sonia Smith, and I'm sure that's probably not even really close to how you pronounce that, but we're going to go with it anyways. I'm sure the uh, punctuation police can ding me in the comments for it. Not familiar with that particular title on Strata East. I am on this one. Billy Harper's Copper Black. I have an original of this in my collection. You know, the thing is with a lot of these avant-garde records is... They were put on really crummy vinyl, and they weren't that good the first time around. So to get them reissued on significantly quieter vinyl is kind of a, a nice little feature. Bill Evans and Jim Hall's Undercurrent. Forget about the thousands you have to pay for them. When you actually do find them, a lot of times they sound crummy. Horace Tapscott, Live at Laboro. I actually had a few... Strata East titles come into the store years back. Lyman Wooder organization, I had that come in sealed. Right out of the packaging, it sounded pretty, uh, pretty rough. Raymond Morris, Sweet Sister Funk. This is a killer album on Groove Merchant. You know, find an original of that is super hard. I've had one come in in six years. Stan Getz and Gilberto. The best of two worlds. Another Stacy Kent, Close Your Eyes. This is a double disc. Muddy Waters, I'm Ready. Chet Baker and Crew, this is a double disc title. Some bonus tracks on this. Cab Calloway. Pharaoh Sanders. Journey to the One. I think this is one of their latest releases. Canned Heat's Boogie with Canned Heat. George Benson's In Flight. Sarah Vaughn's After Hours. Gary Bias, East 101.
Nate Morgan. Another Nimbus title. Charles Tolliver's Music Inc. This is a live concert, double disc. On Strata East. This is a great record. Charles Tolliver's All Stars with Gary Bartz, Herbie Hancock, Ron Carter, Joe Chambers. Hell of a lineup. This is a good record. Dadishi Komalaki. Or something to that their effect. Hassan's Walk. Adele Sebastian. Who's on this? Billy Higgins. Ricky Kelly. Bobby West. They've also done some rock titles. Mostly jazz, and I'm going to say mostly jazz, blues, and R&B. But Stevie Ray Vaughan's Texas Flood. Although this is, I guess, blues, right? Afro-Cuban Jazz All-Stars. Al Green's Explores Your Mind. This actually has the uh, Take Me to the River on it, which is ironic because I was just listening to the uh, Talking Heads Stop Making Sense where they cover it from this album. Stanley Cowell's Regeneration. Pure Pleasure is a great label. They specialize, again, in audiophile records. You really should try a couple of these out. If you're not familiar with some of the stuff they've done, pick a couple titles that look interesting. Sarah Vaughn, Snowbound. I don't have all of these in my collection, but I do have a lot of them. Harold McKinney on Tribe. I think that might have been in that Vinyl Me Please box as well. They also did Duke Ellington's Masterpieces. Billy Parker's Fourth Ward, Freedom of Speech. This is a fun title. Duke Ellington and Rosemary Clooney. Blue Rose. Duke Ellington's Ellington Uptown. Duke Ellington's Spaceman. Sarah Vaughn's Divine One. Solomon Burke, King Solomon. I think this is one of their newest titles. Ricky Kelly. Another Nimbus title originally. Charles Brecken on Strata East. Sam McFarrow. First Impressions, another Strata East title. John Lee Hooker and Canned Heat. Remember, guys, I told you a couple uh, months back, if you are buying this record, do not use PayPal. PayPal will not push your transaction through. I don't know if you guys uh, remember the debacle. I talked about it a couple months ago. Long story short, after going back and forth with PayPal for a couple of days trying to figure out why everybody that tried purchasing this album's transaction was pending and then canceled, they told me it was because of John Lee Hooker's ex sexually explicit name. As comical as that sounds, it gets flagged in their system. There's nothing they can do about it, so they say. And yeah, if you want to purchase this John Lee Hooker album, you have to use a credit card. You cannot use PayPal on the website. It was, uh, yeah, the most surreal couple of days back and forth with PayPal I think you could possibly imagine. But yeah, that's where that got left off at. Apparently the department that handles that is not reachable by telephone. Pharaoh Sanders, Rejoice. John Gordon's Erotica Suite. Melvin Taylor in the Slack Band. Horace Tapscott, Dial B for Barber. This is actually a Kevin Gray cut title. Kevin Gray did a lot of mastering work over the years for Pure Pleasure. This is a double disc. This is one of my favorite titles they've done. Joe Turner's Big Boss Man. Extremely hard title to find a clean original of. Charles Mingus, East Coasting. Another new title, Stanley Cowell, 
Musa just came in. Clarence Carter's patches. One of my favorite Strata East titles. The descendants of Mike and Phoebe. Step by step, John Gordon. John Coltrane in the winner's circle. Another new title, Charles Ruse. Two is one. Strata East. Marcos Valley and Stacy Kent. Sarah Vaughn's The Divine One. Stacy Kent, The Changing Lights. Double disc, most of hers are. Stacy Kent's The Boy Next Door. All right, man, that is a schlock. I want to say now that Record Store Day is over, we're going to start seeing the pace of records pick back up for the next week or two. Then it kind of goes into that normal lull the week or two before Record Store Day where manufacturers kind of prioritize around that. You don't get a lot of new releases right before Record Store Day. Some, but not as many as normal. So next couple of weeks, we should have a decent amount, a couple of releases. I want to say next week, there's two Universal Series titles. There's a Sonny Rollins and a uh, Oliver Nelson. And there's also two Blue Note Classic uh, titles. Jimmy Smith's Back at the Chicken Shack. And Sonny Clark's Cool Strutton, one of my all-time favorite jazz albums. They're both, all four titles actually are available right now on the website for pre-order. All right, guys, check us out online, www.theingroove.com. Until next time.